With just this one indicator, you can trade easily and very effectively. This indicator will provide you with information about short-term trends, long-term trends, and it will also give you points to place buy and sell orders that are quite accurate. You can use this indicator on almost any time frame, but we would recommend using it on the one hour time frame or higher. And in this video, we will provide you with a complete guide on this indicator. So don't miss this video to avoid misinformation about what we will convey. If you benefit from this video, don't forget to support us by liking and subscribing to this channel. The operation of this indicator is very easy, suitable even for beginners traders. And this trading strategy can be used on all assets ranging from Forex, crypto, stocks, to futures. To use this trading strategy, simply log into TradingView. I will be using the GBP-JPY pair as an example this time. So, set the pair to GBP-JPY and adjust the time frame to 1 hour. Now, let's add this indicator to our trading chart. Go to Trading View and then navigate to the Search Indicators tab. In the Indicators tab, type in LNL Trend System and select the one from LNL Capital. Now, go to the Settings tab of the LNL Trend System Indicator. In the Input tab, there are several settings you can adjust. You can change the settings for Trend Mode, HTF Mode, and HTF Aggregation according to your needs. However, for this video, I will stick to the default settings in this section. Next, there's the Show Trend Bars tab. This tab indicates the candlesticks. If a candlestick is green, it indicates a bullish trend. If it's red, it indicates a bearish trend. And if it's black, it indicates a neutral trend. For this video, I won't be using the settings for this, so deactivate the option in the Show Trend Bars tab. Then there's the Show Trendline tab. This functions almost similarly to the Show Trend Bars tab we discussed earlier. You can also deactivate the option in this tab. After that, move on to the Show Stop Line tab. This will be used as a marker to place stop loss points when you enter a trade. When there's a buy signal, the indicator will show a green stop line below the candlestick. And if there's a sell signal, it will show a red stop line above the candlestick. In this example, deactivate the marker on this tab. Next, there's the Show Higher Timeframe Trendline section. This is similar to the Show Trendline we discussed earlier, but this second Show Higher Timeframe Trendline is for monitoring higher timeframes. For this example, we won't be using this option. Next, activate the marker on the Show HTF Cloud section. This tab will provide indications of long-term trends that we will use as the main trend guide in the market. After that, change the color in the Show Cloud section according to your preference. Make sure to use a different color from the HTF Cloud. This is because the cloud will be used as a guiding point to place entries. Finally, click OK to confirm the changes. Now, your indicator is ready to be used. The larger cloud provides information about long-term trends, while the smaller cloud provides short-term trend information. If the larger cloud is green, it indicates a bullish trend, and your focus should be on finding the best points to place by orders. If the larger cloud is red, it indicates a bearish trend, and your focus should be on finding the best points to place sell orders. Now, let's discuss how to place buy and sell orders using this indicator. Here's how to place a buy order. 1. If the main cloud or larger cloud is green, it indicates a bullish trend, and your focus should be on finding the best points to place a buy order. 2. Next, wait for the smaller cloud or trend to correct towards the main cloud. This means the cloud on the smaller trend turns red. 3. Once the correction from the smaller trend is complete and the color of the smaller cloud has returned to green, prepare to place a buy order. 4. As confirmation, ensure that when the smaller cloud turns green again, the candlestick formed is bullish candlestick. 5. If all conditions are confirmed, you can place a buy order after the bullish candlestick is closed. 6. Place the stop loss at the latest swing low. 7. 
Then, use a target take profit using a risk and reward ratio of 1 to 1.5. Here's how to place a sell order. 1. If the main cloud or larger cloud is red, it indicates a bearish trend, and your focus should be on finding the best points to place a sell order. 2. Next, wait for the smaller cloud or trend to correct towards the main cloud. This means the cloud on the smaller trend turns green. 3. Once the correction from the smaller trend is complete and the color of the smaller cloud has returned to red, prepare to place a sell order. 4. As confirmation, ensure that when the smaller cloud turns red again, the candlestick formed is bearish candlestick. 5. If all conditions are confirmed, you can place a sell order after the bearish candlestick is closed. 6. Place the stop loss at the latest swing high. 7. Then, use a target take profit using a risk and reward ratio of 1 to 1.5, Remember to maintain proper money management and trading psychology. If you plan to use this trading strategy, it's advisable to conduct backtesting first. That concludes this video, and see you in the next one.